Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with the tension! So last time we spent a good chunk of the episode breaking down a lot of the protective seals and talismans that were all over the school. And I feel like that's probably a very, very bad thing, because, you know, protective seals and talismans are in place for a reason, to keep, you know, evil spirits sealed within, and I just... Um, I, I think maybe Ray is being manipulated a bit into... Uh, you know, doing some kind of demonic deed or something. Because I don't feel like breaking down these talismans are, you know, too good of an idea. I feel like there's something bad going on with this. Especially with the whole, you know, cracking reflection talking at you. And I looked it up, I went back in the video and everything, and it was like, or is it you just don't want to remember is what her reflection was saying to her, I think. And that makes me extra curious as to what it could be that she doesn't want to remember. Because that's making me think that maybe, like, she got possessed or something and that's how Wei ended up dead. Because when we found Wei's, you know, dead body, or when we awoke with Wei's dead body, she was sitting right in front of it with him just kind of dangling there. And so I'm thinking maybe she got possessed and killed him. Just a theory there. Okay, where... Alright, this is where we came from. That's all boarded up. Doors boarded up, doors boarded up. Just trying to regain our ground. Okay, and this is where we came in with the... Where we unlocked the gate at. And there's clearly another one of the lingered things that's chilling down here. And just quick heads up, this is going to be the only episode for today. I was trying to do... Um, Telltale Games Batman was trying to start that back up, but for some reason, oh right, we have this all barred up. It just didn't want to open for me. Like, I kept on clicking and clicking. I went into Steam, I was clicking, trying to get it open, and it's just not opening. I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. I'll try to figure it out and get it, you know, fixed up by Thursday, but I, it's just going to be this for today, guys. I'll try to make the episode a little longer, though, if that helps. <laughs> uh, a lot of bottles on the ground around here. Are we going to get introduced to a new ghost, maybe? I want a new ghost. New ghosts sound like fun, don't they? Counselor's office. <gasps> this is where we're supposed to be. But why are there so many booze things? Like, seriously, we've just been kind of interacting with the same twitchy girl things. I mean, we saw what looked like a different ghost with the reflection in the nurse's office, and I was thinking that that might lead up to, like, a boss battle or something. As much of a boss battle as you can get in a game like this, but... <laughs> Oh! <gasps> Careful what you wish for, Sarah! Careful what the fuck you wish for! <laughs> oh dear god. No, this is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted! Oh, uh, go girly, go! Ray, keep moving! What the fuck is- oh, that was probably my out. Uh, is it gaining? I feel like it might be gaining. It looks like he has a police cap. Door, door, door. Beautiful doors. So that probably has a bit to do with the police people coming for you. Yeah, I looked a bit more into the, you know, white terror thing, and I it didn't seem like much out of the ordinary when it comes to typical tyrannical martial law situations. Just a lot of people unjustly being put in jail. A lot of like, contraband stuff going on. You know, basic tyranny and oppression. I mean, I don't want to belittle the event itself, because it was truly a horrible event, but I couldn't find anything, you know, that, like, made me think any differently about the game than what how we've been playing it so far, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, added to the journal. Counseling record. Let's see what we have! piece of ripped counseling record. Age 17. Mother is a housewife. Negative. Troubled attitude. Constant tardiness. Gradually improving. Require follow-up. Encouraged leisure activities such as reading. Signed by faculty member counselor Cheng Ming Hui. Hui? Maybe? Homeroom teacher Yin Sui Han and JROTC officer Bai Gu Feng and principal Shin Jin. Okay. Is this for this way stuff? Because diagnostic report from the health center. How can students be injured like this? 
no, this is somebody else. This is Huang Ming Chung. This is 17. Male, right arm fractured. And here we go again. Age 17. So, who's Huang Ming Chung then? And why is he of importance? Oh! Hello! What the hell? My bed? I sleep much better on my own bed. My bed! I sleep much better on my own bed. Um, I want to look at everything. <laughs> we have a... What? Mom's throwing my stuff away without telling me. Old photograph in the trash. A photograph found in the trash. A quote is written on it. Remember, hope is a good thing. Maybe the best of things. And no good thing ever dies. Yeah. In memory. Memories don't die, right? <laughs> I hate it when she does this. In a sense they do, but I want to be optimistic here. A well-built closet. It was part of Mom's dowry. Is that our parents arguing out there? They say I should enjoy my youth, but I find it difficult. What happens after graduation? Where should I go? Will I end up like Mom? Stop worrying so much, Ray. Life moves on regardless. Be hopeful. At least this weekend's going to be good, happy. Someone clean my desk up for me. Probably mom. I feel like there's no privacy in this house. I mean, she cleaned it for you. That's nice. I mean, throw away your hopeful photo, but other than that. It's quite foggy outside. I can barely see the roads. So basic teenage angst here with Ray. I wish we could change her shirt. I, I can't tell if that's like flowers or just like a dirty shirt. <laughs> Weird textures. They're fighting again. Feeling a bit sleepy now. I should go back to bed. Fine if you want to. <laughs> go to bed? No. Okay, I guess I don't really have a choice here. <laughs> Alright, come on, let's go to bed. Sleep through the fighting. Just block it out. Put the pillow over your head. We had some music. Well, no, you don't have music. If a paper plane could whisk my dreams away from here. Do I, do I click? Where could where I could wake up and find myself in a foreign land? Interesting enough, the um, icon for this game is a paper plane. To start a new life as a stranger to all. Oh, how wonderful that'd be. Wouldn't it? <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Foreign land. Oh, we're back in the auditorium. You good, Ray? There ain't no way here anymore. It's all you, girly. I feel like we saw a paper plane earlier somewhere else. Oh. The walls are gone. Huh. Our flagpole stand. The ropes keep knocking on the poles. Can we look up higher? No? Okay. The ropes keep knocking on those poles. I feel like this is the direction to go, seeing as this is where sound was coming from. A lot of fallen paper planes. Should we go in here? What is this? Huh. Yes, there wasn't any... Oh, wait, is this... Oh, okay, we can go back out there. What is this? I guess there wasn't any... Oh, yay, a save point. Um, the Zelda break. Yeah, save progress. No, um, what I'm trying to say is, it was like, I thought we were kind of approaching towards an end game there back when we were unlocking everything in the school, but it appears our environment is changing. What's this? There's a note on the desk. The illustration, hey, babe, um, hey, Bai Wu Chang, what? Okay, black and white Permanence? What? According to legends, these two are ancient officials. During a routine inspection, misfortune befell them and they perished trying to protect one another. The Lord of the- that's beautiful! The Lord of the Dead, seeing their loyalty, appointed them the duty of the messengers of death. Wait, I think I know about these guys! It was then that people who died would see them arrive to claim their souls. Yeah, I know about these guys. They're like one of the variations of the Grim Reaper. Okay. No, I've heard of them before this. I think I actually saw a little... 
Yeah, there's a really cute animation somewhere of like the Grim Reaper, I think Anubis, and these guys and stuff. And it's oh no, it's cute. It's cute. It's just lovely little animation about collecting souls of the dead. I doubt this will be as cute though. I think this might be a little terrifying. <laughs> oh good, there's even a door with their faces on it. But that's kind of awesome though. I didn't know that they like died trying to protect each other. That's awesome. All right. The fig two figures are carved in the door. Oh, they're missing their fan things. Um, these are supposed to be guardians, but they look more like the Hebei Wuchang. Their hands look like they should be holding something, but what could be missing? So we need to find your... Okay, yeah, we're just looking at the hands there. So we need to find their fans. Why can we make them fans? I don't know if it's the ambient music, but I feel like I hear something breathing in the distance. <laughs> I wish I could read these signs. Like, I feel like these might be something of importance, but I can't read them. Or they might add something. Is that broken doll? Okay, that looks like one of the guys there. Those look like hands, and that looks awfully bloody. There's a note on the cart. Illustration. Okay, Lantern Inspector. Do we have a new ghosty? Lantern Inspector. An illustration of the Lantern Inspector. If you chance upon a Lantern Spirit, avert your gaze and stand unmoving. When it comes near, steal your breath. Do not panic. It will keep on moving. Golly. Okay, so we have to stand, look in the opposite direction of it, and hold our breath when it gets up on us. Awesome! Alright, let's go save real quick and then give that a shot, because I'm sure there's something in that direction that'll be like that. <laughs> uh, this is what I get for complaining. But no, this is something that I kind of like love about Asian ghosts, I guess. Is they all like a lot of them seem to have, you know, different rules of how you can, you know, survive them with like, you know, Christian or Catholic or whatever. Wait, Christian and Catholic are basically the same thing. Like, those kind of demons and everything, it's all like, yeah, it's kind of a crapshoot. You get possessed, I mean, the exorcist might be able to do something about it, or they might not be able to. These Asia ghosts, it's all like, okay, if you fuck up, you're dead, but if you do the right thing, you know, you got a chance of actually getting out of this. Oh, we have doors leading to other places as well as an upstairs and a downstairs. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> Any lantern spirits in here? Uh, oh. Oh my. Are these just doll heads? That looks like cracked stone, so that might just be a doll heads. The glass beakers here are from our biology lab. They are each holding puppets inside. Unlucky puppets. I don't like this place. <laughs> Oh, this seems like a bad thing. This seems like a very, very bad thing. I don't want... I don't want puppets attacking us. Oh, this seems like a terrible idea. What is this? What is that? A brick furnace. I remember back then, Mom said she burned spirit money to bless our health and good fortune. I always thought of it as closer to dealing with the devil. Like, a bargain? Is this anything? No, it's just a brick furnace. So, we burn things in this? Is this something for me to burn? No, that's just clicking on the furnace. <laughs> oh, this... I don't like walking through these things. This is going to fuck us with us later, isn't it? <laughs> Is that just the- yeah, it's probably just the beakers. Can I mess with the curtains? No, I cannot. Alright, let's leave Creepy Puppet down. Okay, and I guess let's go over here. Oh, okay, the door is locked from the other side. This should lead to the atrium. So are we in like a market or something? Upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. Uh, let's go down first. I mean, it doesn't seem like the best of places to go, seeing as that's there, but, you know, it works. Hi, what are you? A kneeling figure with a wooden token on its back. Can't really tell who it is with a hood on its head. You're very calm about that, right? It's just like, oh, 
guy there chained up. Yeah, well. <laughs> blood and stocks and shackles. Bit of dried blood on the edges. So this was like the torture stuff. Is that what we're exploring here now? A kneeling figure. There's some blood on its hood. But you don't have a token on your back. Uh, is this a save point for us? You don't look like a save point, though. You look like something bad. You look like something very bad. What are you? The temple's divine incense burner. Before we pray, Mom always lights three incense sticks. She tells the gods her name and birthplace, then launches into a spiritual drivel. She often lays her many problems and wishes upon them. Why does she not tell a real person? Instead, they fall upon an invisible god. Oh, Ray, are you atheist? <laughs> she might be, or she might not be. It's questionable, actually. Hmm. I wonder what she thinks, because it's like she doesn't seem to have... That's bad. That's very bad. <laughs> oh no, something's out and about. Oh, and we have this water. Oh no, that's going to make our movements loud and everything. No, but I don't know. I don't I can't tell if she believes or not, but she doesn't seem to like her mother's religious practices. Oh, this seems bad. <laughs> The cell's empty. Smells like rotting plants. Oh, bad place, bad place. What about this one? Another kneeling figure. Who are these supposed to be? What's this? Spirit money for us to burn! Hey, maybe mom had something going for her there, huh? Ever think that, Ray? A metal door. It's locked! It's going to burst open and something terrible is going to come after us, isn't it? Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Do I step forward? Oh, hi! Oh! Well, fuck that. Cell's empty. Smells like rotting plants. That guy went in here. Okay, at least he ain't trying to murder us. That's nice. I thought it was going to be a lantern thingy. Shit, so one's out. You still cool? You're still cool to kneel there? That's fine. I, I'm not going to do you bad. What's up with your wooden token, man? I wish we could read it or something. This would be helpful. Does it have words on it? Spirit money, spirit money. Let's go burn us some spirit money. Oh. I think that puppet was swinging. One moment, let's go save first and then we could go burn spirit money. <laughs> saving is always a good thing to have. I do love to save. Saving is wonderful. Saving is the best mechanic that was ever invented. Praise be to saving. I worship at the altar of the saves. <laughs> An altar praying. Yay, we feel very blessed. That's good. Well then, I guess that kind of puts a different turn on it too. Because she does say that she feels, or the screen says that she feels blessed everything so I don't know maybe maybe she is religious I'm not sure what to think did something glitch out over there or was that just my screen sometimes my screen ripples because I don't know I guess I kind of have a tiny screen yes yes puppets just go for it Ray just fucking go girl Woo. here have some spirit money to burn Oh, otherworldly spirits, I offer this spirit money to ask for your protection. Would you be so kind? Oh, fire went out, and we got a fan! The furnace has suddenly gone cold. Is there something in there? How can this be? It should have been reduced to ashes if it was inside. Unless it's made of stone. 
Removed a feathered fan. Okay, it's not made of stone, but it is super holy. Look, <gasps> fuck you! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, was that supposed to happen? Is our river of blood still flowing? Ah, uh, nope, it's not showing anything. Anything for you to see here, Bray? Was that supposed to happen? Maybe it was supposed to happen. I don't know. Can we crouch? No, we can't crouch. Okay, I guess that was supposed to happen. Are you our lantern spirit? These human-like objects are filled with evil over time. Deal with them as with the lingered. Oh, are you cool? You're not a lingered. You're like me. You're a person. I think. Unless those are weird muscle tendons and several lay things. So I collect them all, scavenged from all the pain in the world. The road has collapsed and there is no way back. Old lady? Did we lose her? Oh, I guess we lost her. So... That was interesting. These human-like objects are filled with evil over time. So what, the dolls themselves become evil? Deal with them. Okay, well... So we hold our breath and walk through. That's what she's telling us to do. Foul thoughts gather and accumulate until they one until they one day taking on something. Damn it! They begin to twist into a monstrous storm. Well, why have me click sometimes and not others? Okay, chill. One, two, three, and breathe. Go, go. You can't see me, puppies. You can't see a thing. I am but a soulless creature, much like you. I do not take breath. I do not breathe. I do not live. Come on, girly. Woo! You did it! Congratulations. And now, back to our save station. We still haven't come across the lantern things. I guess those must be waiting for us upstairs, then. They're not bothering us out here. I guess maybe we weren't supposed to go downstairs first. Uh, okay. Altar for playing. Yay! Maybe we weren't supposed to go downstairs first. Or maybe they didn't expect too many people to go downstairs first, and that's why they had the lantern thing. Because, I mean, when you think about it, downstairs does seem like the more ominous area to go. Alright, but let's, let's check the upstairs. Let's see how chill and cool it is up there. See our new ghosties, huh? Oh, we have a... This goes up to the roof. Gate's locked, though. Can we open this thingy? Roots are growing out of the seams. The door is completely blocked. Well, I mean, you have that candle that you use from time to time. Lantern ghosts! Oh, lantern ghosts, I suspect you must be up here. Okay, the pungent, mossy smell permeates. Okay, well... Hmm. Strange. What is this? Actually, I would have liked to see where we are. Okay, we're in a projection booth. Okay, there are various films on this rack. They seem to be all tangled together. What about this one? Various films? Okay, whatever. Should we mess with the film? The film in the media room is being projected from here. Our military education class often played political propaganda. The instructor always has a million things to say about whatever happens in the film. Are there any other films I can play? Well, I mean, maybe. Why don't you go check the rack? Oh, you can't, right, because they're all tangled together. Can we mess with this? Okay, so we have to go find a new film for her to play. Let's rebel against the system, peeps! Yeah, what does it say? Projection room, okay. 
So we're in like a movie theater then maybe. No, I'm thinking it's like some kind of mall like situation because you have like the weird puppet shop downstairs. That doesn't seem good over there. What do we have here? Oh, it's a lantern-y thing! The meteor room. If we're lucky, we get to watch a movie as part of the lecture. It's also great for sneaking a nap. Like, they aren't watching you. <laughs> Ooh-wee. What do you got here? <gasps> Incense to burn! Okay, that's good. An unmarked grave embedded in the middle of the room. Shouldn't be anything buried underneath. There are three unlit incense sticks. Take the incense? Oh, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> oh, goodness, my heart. What is this? The grave of Wei Chengting. Oh, right, Wei, he is dead, right? Oh, I completely forgot about him. Yeah, that guy who's going to help me survive the night. Ha, <laughs> ally, I slit his throat, but, you know, he existed. Is the legacy of the deceased always just a mere rock? Golly, you're such a pessimist, Ray. Shit. Okay, what else do we have in here? The uh, slogan reads, Patriotism demands of us sustained sacrifice. Uh, when did all this writing appear? Stitcher? Is this about an informer? Did all this stuff... I guess this must have been... Okay, so everything was already happening when her and Wei were in school. It wasn't just at the beginning. It was already in motion. The board's all moldy now. The slogan reads, Leave your death in the hands of others. <laughs> well, that's kind of what you have to do, isn't it? Is it coming? I want to play with- Oh, it's just to fuck with us. Can we even go this way? Okay, we can't even go this way. That was just to mess with us. The dicks. <laughs> I don't know, it'll probably come walking up this side, won't it? <gasps> You're a real one, though. I can see the hand. Uh, what do I do about you? Because <laughs> you ain't walking. <gasps> Breathe. Can't see anything. Come on, yeah, you just keep walking, do your thing. Ain't nobody here. Ain't nobody here. I ain't breathing. You're breathing. I'm not a breather. Woo! Okay, so we just have to hold our breath when she leans in on us, right? Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so we don't have any other films to be played, but we do have uh, some incense to burn downstairs. So I'll be nice. Go back down to the death area where all the creepy bloody hooded people be. Because they're fun. They're, they're just a blast to hang out with. Oh, please don't come and twitch at me. I do not want to play with your twitchy games. Like, I'm not the one torturing you guys. You're doing your own torturing thing where other people are doing your torturing thing. I'm just here to burn some incense for you. Incense is nice, right? You guys like this? I do as mom does with incense in hand. Ignoring the kinds of prayers she'd prefer, I ask the gods only for a way to live as myself. That's nice. Okay, so she does have some belief. What was that sound? Something opened up. Our wooden block guy opened up, didn't he? Hi! Should I take off your hood or should I take the thing out? The prison gate is open. The wood token on the statue is- oh, it's a statue's back is loose. Okay, we got ourselves a token. And now to get the hell out of here. Bye bye You, you just... Uh, you do you. Are there going to be other ones? More lantern people? Or is it just the one? Come on, there has to be some more, right? I'm ready for you guys. I know what to do. I know how to turn around and ignore your faces and all that. Come on. Not for praying, yes, let's say we're super blessed. I was hoping for a bit more of a challenge. Was it always snowing over here? I feel like the blue light was there, but was it always snowing? This doesn't seem to fit in its hands. Okay, so Tungy gets fan. And Beardy gets token. Alright. 
Thanks, guys. Chill air drifts inward. Whew! So, uh, lead me to the gates of the underworld? Is, is this what we're doing here? Am I going... Why am I here? A copper statue of the president. It can be seen from almost anywhere in the school. I'm wondering if maybe Ray... might be dead. Maybe she defied, like, the thing, because, like, she was against that propaganda and stuff, and she didn't seem to be exactly following her mother's rules and all that. So maybe Ray is, like, a victim of the White Terror? Is that what we're seeing here? Well, come on, let's go in. Because that would explain the, you know, passage to the underworld kind of thing just then. You know, those guys leading us off, too. Okay, that's the door we came in at. Uh oh. Come on, wait for it to get all up on ya. Okay. Hold your breaths. Hold them. Hold the breathies. She's just chilling. She's. It's cool. She's good. Why is her light green and the other one is white? Just hold it as long as you can, girly. Woohoo! Okay, this is all barbed up and lucked. Interesting. Why is the light here green? Up, oh, we can look here. What is this? A metal door inside. There might be another way around. Okay, so we're trying to get over there. Okay. No more lantern ghosties? The music room. There's a piano inside. It was probably last used during our freshman chorus competition. So it hasn't been used in a couple years? That's depressing. Oh, look, a puppet! How wonderful. Our puppet in a cage. In the middle of the room hangs a bird cage. A puppet lies locked inside. It's got a hood on. I've never seen this style before. Can you take the hood off? Can we mess with it? No, nope, but it's just, it's just chilling there. Do we play the piano? Will the piano take its hood off? Okay. So wait, not all of them... Alright, so it's just... Hey, hey now. That's interesting. Is it busted or is there something blocking it? Not going to comment on that? Okay, whatever, Ray. This one's also blocked. Hmm. Whatever, she ain't going to play with it. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. I don't need her aid with this. Uh, we have music class scheduled every semester. It's mostly used as a testing center, though. Oh, uh, just to do your, I don't know what your ACT, like, ACT, SAT thing equivalent is. Tell me! Tell me what you do with your testings. Okay, so we need to figure out how to play that piano, I think, is our goal is here. The hallway light switch. Hallway light switch. Shall we, shall we click it off? I feel like we might want to click that off. Or is something else going to click it off on us? The broadcasting room. There are some playback devices inside. Maybe this thing has some film for us. Oh, or, you know, the corpses of our fellow friends and grown into the trees of life. That's cool. That's cool, too. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't trying to leave. I was trying to click on the bookshelf. I guess I can't click on the bookshelf. Should, should we question this? She's not even questioning this. <laughs> on the table are some broadcasting equipment. The speakers are emitting a small, staticky sound. You can almost hear whispering. Oh, okay, we can look at it. I thought we couldn't look on it. A tree's grown through the wall. There are leaves all over the room. Moss grows on the door and windows, and the souls of the damned are inside of it. <laughs> just, just thought we should mention that, no? You cool with this? What is that? The record? Should we speak it out? Okay, a large 8-track player. 
It usually, it's usually used for school broadcasts. The power's connected. Do I just need to stick an 8-track tape in there? Um, nope. Okay, we can just look at it. Alright, so we need to find film. We need to find tracks. We just need to find a bunch of crap. We also need to figure out how to play a piano. We're getting a bunch of tasks and no way to do them. As of yet. Come on, come up on me, baby. Right here? Yep, come on, keep coming. I'm just chilling. I'm just, I'm nothing. I am but a- Ooh, you have a tonguey thing! I didn't even notice that before. She has a tongue like the one Death Guardian guy. Whew! Do we just- Okay, I guess we head down here. Are we going to find anything? Okay, I don't know about that, but I want to see if... Okay, so we can go over here, too. Yeah. Door's been unlocked. Oh, this is where we came from. Awesome! Alright, well, that kind of lets us out a bit, and I guess we can't walk over to wherever the hell that is. Oh, that looks kind of like how a way was positioned above us. Is that a hint? I just want to see what we can see, because we're kind of approaching where I'm going to need to end the episode. <gasps> oh look, it's a thing! Seems like there's something stuck inside the tree. Okay, we got a tape. And it's just- okay, this is just the end of the line here. Alright, well I guess we can look at the puppet thing before we end. So just like a puppet theater to make fun of us and way. Are we climbing up that thing? Just gonna go straight on up. The scene. Is it trying to remind me of something? It would appear so. Have you really forgotten way this quickly? Is it something to do with the spirit world? A pair of mannequin hands. Is it a setup for the puppet play? <gasps> oh, a pair of mannequin hands. Is it set for the public? Like, oh, I know what we need to do. We need to get the puppet out of the birdcage and put it where we were sitting, don't we? That's the plan. Alright, well, we'll just have to do that in the next episode. So we're going to go over, and we're going to save, and we're going to avoid death, and all those lovely, lovely things. It's good, though. Good that we, you know, got a new save point and everything. So, I'm trying to figure out what this area is that we're in and stuff. Because we have, like, the school all over there. And this seems to be, like, a temple or a movie theater or, like, a mall type thing. I don't know what this is. It's an altar for praying. This is where we enjoy our life. But, yeah, okay. So, let's take a look see here at some things. Okay, so these are the current ghosts that we're dealing with. We have the Lantern Specters, you guys aren't important really, and we have the Lingered. Now, something interesting is both the Lingered and the Lantern people are women. We did have something else earlier, which was that multi-armed creature, and that looks like a guy with like a police cap, and that's what's making me think that maybe uh, Ray, you know, got arrested or something for... I don't know, breaking some kind of rule during the martial law. Like, maybe she was part of that book club that was mentioned earlier, or something like that, and, you know, she got caught with that, and maybe she was arrested. Maybe that's why she sees that dungeon thing underneath. Maybe, you know, she was down there for a bit herself. Or something, or maybe she died down there, because I'm pretty- I'm starting to think that we're, you know, super dead, especially with these two guys, you know, being around, like, their symbolism. And everything, because I'm, I'm thinking that Ray might be a spirit here. But, yeah. Um, again, I can't find... Like, I was trying to fi find some stuff on, like, certain types of ghosts and everything, but I guess these guys are might be made up for the game or something, but I'm... I haven't really found anything relating to ghosts either, because that was something else I was trying to look up. Yeah, a bunch of stuff on freaking Japanese ghosts and Chinese ghosts, but not a lot of Taiwanese ghosts. I wonder if Taiwanese and Jap Chinese ghosts might overlap a bit, though, because they're in a similar area. 
Hmm. Um, but yeah, no. Both women. The only male ghost that we have is that multi arm thing. I wonder if that's like meaning anything or if it's just, you know, common to have female ghosts. I'm not sure. I feel like there's some symbolism that we're missing out on here. I'm just trying to like find the answers. <sighs> but yeah, that's what I'm thinking anyway. Other than that, what else did we get this episode? We got new info about the lingered. Well, we got new lingered to say. And we got these guys. They are the messengers of death, and they arrive to claim their souls of the people who have died. So has our soul been claimed just by going through that door is what I'm wondering? Hmm. Did we find anything else, maybe, with our notes? We got our photograph of Hope. See, that's another thing that's making me think that she might be, like, you know, a bit of a rebel. Or something like that. I don't know what it would be. And... Mother's a housewife. Maybe this is Ray. Is another thing. Because Mother's a housewife. They were talking about... You know, we had the flashback scene where it sounded like her parents were arguing. And there was, like, you know, talk of her mother going to, like, the temple and complaining and all that stuff. But she wasn't saying anything about her mother working. So that might be her. She doesn't seem to be negative or troubled or anything like that, but... Gradually improving, so that might be... Something... You know, she might... Yeah, she might have gotten, you know, better attitude about life or something. Um, leisure activities, yeah, and that's the other thing. The reading in the book club, that's just making me think that, you know, maybe she got caught up with some rule breaking. Is it right to say caught up if she was doing the right thing, technically? <sighs> I mean, it wasn't... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to talk about this, because it's like... You know, clearly the martial law thing was a terrible, terrible thing, and it was like this time of tyranny where people were unjustly punished and, you know, ideas were crushed underfoot and all that kind of stuff. You know, reason was thrown out the window for the sake of, you know, nationalism, I guess, is the term, because there's all that talk of patriotism and everything. And so, you know, going against that would make you bad in the eyes of the law, but truly you're not a bad person is, I think, what I'm trying to get at here. I don't know. It's a very complicated situation. I don't feel like, you know, I'm entirely justified in talking on the subject because this isn't my, you know, history or culture. I'm just trying to understand it as, like, a lot of what it is, I think. But, yeah. Um, anywho, enough about the terrible, terrible past of this situation. Next time we're going to take this 8-track player, we're going to go shove it over that morning announcements and play some hopefully kick-ass music. Is this music? Um, found under a tree containing four tracks. One is labeled prohibited. The contents are probably censored. Yeah, it's kick-ass tracks. Let's go play some... This was... 60s? 50s? I, I can't quite remember. Yeah, let's go play some old-fashioned punk music or something. So until then, you know, like and subscribe if you guys want to, and thank you for watching.